Hey everybody, you know what this is? This is my box of stickers. I am going to sort through them and figure out how to store them. These are non-Dollar Tree and use them. I've been hoarding for too many years and like I've said before in my other videos, it's time to use our stash. So let's see what I come up with. So I chose this big box to hold my stickers in and it's bigger than 13 inches. It's about 14 inches by uh, seven and a half. I don't know, I've had this box for a very long time and the reason I'm choosing this box is because the longest of my stickers fit in it and then I'll still be able to get the cover on it. So, let me show you what I plan on doing. Actually, it's upside down, but guess what? It's done. These, oh, I didn't have it upside down. I had it backwards. Okay, these are all my stickers. Remember how I piled them on my desk and I sorted through them? Well, now they're all in an order. I have alphabets, animals, antique, baby, birthday, boys, camera, cars. So now, some of these, sta these uh, stickers I've had for about 15 years and I wasn't using them. Why wasn't I using them? Because they weren't in any specific organizational setup. Now that they are organized, I now basically inventoried in my head what I have and I can use it. I am challenging you to do this. Fix it. Um, organize it. I'm broken. What do you want me to fix it? Just organize it. Take, it did take me, uh, with interruptions, a couple hours. But you know what? It was therapeutic. So give me a shout out, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment below. If I've inspired you to organize something in your craft room, such as your stickers. Now, I'm moving on to my Disney stickers. Oh my goodness, my Disney stickers. I have to organize those. All right, everybody, have a great day, and thank you for watching. All right, bye.